Welcome back to your five minute football fix. I'm Steven Miranda. I'm Jeff Ellis, and it's a great day in NFL land, day 136. Football is back. Happy, Happy days are here again. Yes. Oh, lost my headphones there. <laughs> Jeff got that all excited. That's how excited it is, people. Football is back. Football the is players back. have unanimously agreed. 32 nothing. Even Raiders players Even said Even the yes. Raiders. Well, the players are always smarter than the owners when it comes to the <laughs> Oakland Raiders. Sorry, Amy. Um, oh, taking it down to Miss Trask. Miss Trask. Here's what happened. Ooh. We just saw on NFL Network Live, D. Smith, Roger Goodell, a little consortium of lawyers. Drew Brees was there. Kevin Mawai, Jeff Saturday, Dominic all the peeps. peeps were there. All just, the peeps. Yes. This is what we needed to see a week ago. If we had seen this a week ago when the owners came out of their little hole and said we have a deal done, everything would have been fine. But did the owners actually say that, Jeffrey, or did they say we have approved our side of the CBA. They, they said, said we have approved our side of the CBA, <laughs> and then they made it scary for the players by saying, and we've done additional work. <laughs> and and the additional work had nothing to do with the players, but the players couldn't know that. Right. And that freaked them out for good reason. Well, here's the biggest thing, and probably the thing that I am most excited about, the length of the agreement, 10 years with no opt-out clause. No opt-out clause. There cannot be labor stoppage until 2020. 21. 2020 20, would be the 21. last league season. And, uh, uh, and that is the verbiage. If you remember an article I wrote a year ago, the, the final league yes, year. Yes, the final league that's year. That's the language that they use in these things. And the final league year now stands at 2020. 2021. Think about where you're going to be in 10 years. Vegas is now taking bets on if there will be a lockout or not in 2021. Ouch! No, that's not true. I'm. That's that's <laughs> not nice. Can we just not? Can we enjoy the day? I know that. Can we all get along? That's buzz kill right there. I've never been buzzed, but if I were, that would kill it. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, we're not going to get into who's been buzzed and who has been buzzed. However. The new CBA, one of the things that's most critical to the new CBA is the salary cap and the salary yes, floor. Yes, yes. And we have a salary cap that is a little less, probably. We, we don't have the exact document in front of us, all um, 400, But I can pages. give you that number. But it's expected to be $120 million. $120.375. Now, the salary cap last year, last year was an uncapped year. Yep. So the year before, the last year we had an, a salary cap was $128 million. Yes. So this is less. So there's going to be a lot of hard work that teams have to do in the next several weeks to basically get their numbers right. $6 million less than in 2009. There are going to be a lot of teams that once you see what comes out of here is that now teams will be uh, getting rid of some players or negotiating with some players saying, hey, will you take less money? You want to stay with this team? You want to stay with our team? You got to take a little bit less money. That's what you're going to be seeing here over the next couple of days. It's going to be crazy because immediately after that, Free agency. Free agency Players are frenzy. Gonna, the Namdi Awesome guys of the world and the Hasselbecks and the Sydney Rices of the world. That Kevin are Gordon free and the Cobb. Uh, what uh, you can expect tomorrow, which is Tuesday, is that the NFL is going to give all 32 teams a list of the free agents, whether they're restricted or not restricted. That list is going to be huge, and it's going to be part of Part of P-A-R-T-Y, because I got to. <laughs> okay. My exciting news is that there's a salary floor. Yes. $108 million is the salary floor. Guess what, Tampa Bay Buccaneers? Oh. You can't take all your money and give it to Man United. You, you went right you have at to spend the it on Bay your own. You have to spend it on your own players. This yes. is exciting. This yes. means more competition, higher levels of competition. Guys are going to get a little bit more money, and the guys who aren't going to get the more money is the guys who haven't touched a football yet and had a snap in the NFL. Teams must spend at least 89% of the cap from 2013 to 2016 and then from 2017 to 2020. So spend money. I think we need to hear happy days are here again. Yes, we do. Because I'm Jeff Ellis. And here we are. I'm Stephen Miranda. And this is your five-minute football fix. We're going to 25th. Happy days are here again.